Hi, I'm Jay Massey Heil. And I'm Maddie Lamb. Welcome to Unity News. Are you posting photos and videos of the conference on social media? We hope so. Don't forget to use the hashtag UnityFL2019. Yesterday, we learned how to become wellness warriors from a cultural perspective by looking at wellness in four areas, spiritual, social, mental, and physical. Unity youth share their talents at the talent show. Let's take a look at the highlights from yesterday. We have some talented youth here at the Unity Conference. We sure do. My name is Elisa Pineda. I'm 16 from the Cheyenne Repo Youth Council, and we are here to talk about the big popularity increase in the 2019 Unity Conference. <laughs> Jasmine Johnson has been a part of the Unity Youth Council for years. She's gone to previous conferences and noticed a difference. More people. In D.C. in 2015, uh, there was over a thousand and then this year they said that there's over two thousand so that's pretty good she's on to something mary cantella is the executive director of unity good job let me give you a high five she says there's been a 75 percent increase in the number of people signing up for the conferences over the last five years we are so thankful that tribes schools and communities are making it a priority to help their youth become more involved in youth councils. So we're excited to see that growth. My name is Cameron Longknife. I'm from the Cheyenne Arapaho Youth Council from Oklahoma. And from this agenda, it will show us what we will, we will be doing. Pilla also says I've seen more chaperones showing up to foster positive relationships with the youth. I really think it's a positive outlet for our kids and for them to be um, able to experience um, their environment that they come from, knowing that sometimes it's negative but that there's more positive things that they can bring to it. Everyone we interviewed today was really excited to share what they had to say, and we hope to see you next year in Washington, D.C. I am Mary Alice Massey from the Fort Numa Tribe in Yuma, and this is for Unity News. As the Unity Conference grows, this year will be the largest it's ever been. Everyone will be excited for the conference. It can be nerve-wracking. Mary Titla is the executive director of the conference. Before you go on stage, I was breathing deeply like three times. And the other, and this was a tip someone gave me a long time ago, speak over the heads of people. Standing up here, I can really feel the size of the audience. When I first started out, I was not a polished speaker. It, took a while for the nerves to calm down and the butterflies to go away. But once you continue to 
speak in front of large crowds, it comes naturally after a while. So practice makes perfect. We will all be looking forward to attending the conference this year. My name is Ariana Long and I hope you all have a good time. What is up Unity? My name is Alec Lee and I'm a part of the 2019-2020 class of Earth Ambassadors. And we're here at the Canaveral National Seashore and behind me is the Atlantic Ocean. We have a light drizzle here today, but we are still having a blast here at the ocean. And hopefully you guys got to visit the trip while you guys were here in Florida as well. Hopefully the rest of the conference goes good for you, and I hope you guys all enjoy your time. Thank you. Get ready for another powerful day. I'm Maddie Lamb. And I'm Jay Massey-Heil. Thank you for tuning in to Unity News.